All right, so at this point, we probably have something that looks like this, where we have our account SID actually hard-coded here and our auth token actually hard-coded here. So one way that we can avoid actually hard-coding it into our file, and like if we put it on GitHub or something, bad things can happen, is let's just get rid of these completely. Now, if you end up running, uh, if you end up pressing run right now, it's probably not going to work. So let's go ahead and try running that. And yeah, it looks like it's not going to work. It says credentials are required. However, one thing that you can do is actually use those magic or environment variables that we talked about in lecture three to use them in line, basically. So one thing you can do is say something like export. Um, and this is very the number uh, the names here have to be exact so you want to say export twilio account token i believe um let me double check on that so um auth token and account sid sorry so it has to be twilio auth token and then you can copy and paste it here basically and i'm not going to press enter because it's already loaded for mine. And then you can also, so we did the auth token and then we want the account SID as well, I believe. Yep. So the second one is account SID. And then you're just going to add that in here. Press enter, export it in your terminal. And then you don't have to actually have anything. Now you can actually just run from the command line, Twilio, Python Twilio text demo.py and that'll automatically work. So just to double check, you can do something that looks like export Twilio auth token and press enter and then ex ex echo Twilio account um, SID and then press enter and those should print out those same strings that you had before. So you can do it that way and that way is much more secure than what you currently have. However, one problem that you have with doing it the way that we currently have it is that if you do it this way, then you have to actually export those environment variables every time. So instead of doing that, we can actually automate that as well. And the way that we're going to do that is by using a .env file. So let's go ahead and create that .env file. So this might look something like twilio, touch twilio.env. And then let's go ahead and open twilio.env up. Okay, this is a blank file. And all we're going to do here is export those same variables. So again, we're going to export um, twilio account SID here. And then we're going to export twilio um, auth token here. And you're gonna fill those in. And then all you have to do here is, um, you have two options. So you can leave it this way and just source that file. Just like before, if you source it, it's gonna save those wherever you want them. But the more robust way to do it is we're going to use a Python package called OS where you can actually read environment variables. So now all you have to do is be able to say Twilio auth token equals and then you do os.environ and then this is going to be a dictionary so then you take that value and you say account sid here basically and then you do twilio oh sorry this is now an account sid and then twilio auth token you do the same thing os.environ and then you can take this auth token here. Great. Um, that is one way that you can do it. And this is the better way to do it. And I'll explain why in a second. So you can do Twilio. Um, I forgot the order here. I believe it's account SID and then auth token. Um, but I might be wrong. You might have to flip it. Let's take a quick look. Um, let's see. So it's account SID auth token. Okay. So we have our account SID, then we have our auth token. 
Um, one little gotcha that got me for a while is you have to have export in front. If you don't have export here, it's not going to work. So make sure you have export in that env file. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and source our twilio.env. And then we should be able to run it and see what happens. Now let's go in here and then do Twilio, um, the whole thing that we've been doing. And that works the exact same way that we wanted before. So we see that it was sent from the Twilio trial, trial account the same exact way. So this is great. Um, this is one way that you can do it, and this is probably the more robust way that you can do it. Now, again, when we're talking about source control, we don't want to push this file. We don't want to push that .env file. We just want to push this .py file. And then you can tell people that you um, that they have to set up their own .env file. Maybe have a readme where you're saying, you know, you have to have your own Twilio.env file, and then you have to source it, etc. Make sure to leave those instructions so that anyone who follows along with your code can do exactly what you did. Um, that's pretty much it for this demo. We're pretty much, we've um, configured our environment variables instead of having them hard coded. Next, we're going to talk about how you can automate GitHub so that you don't accidentally ever push your environment variables. This is going to be important for project one and projects two and three, because if you push your environment variables, at all into your GitHub, then uh, you're going to lose 20% of your grade. So instead, you have to make sure that you are doing this next step. And we're going to be talking about how to make sure that GitHub never has your auth token. So, so far, we've been able to run things in two different ways. We were able to run things using Python and the name of the file using the command line, or we were able to run things using this green button. Now the problem with using this green button now is we're actually reading from these um, from these environment variables. So in order to configure this to work correctly, so right now I press the green button and it's saying that it can't find this environment variable. The way that you can make this work is you go and you click into env here, and then you can add whatever environment variables you want. So you're going to add the name here. So Twilio account SID, and then you press tab, and then you can enter the value. And this can be whatever you want. Um, you don't need the strings here. So it would just be something like AC, whatever it is. Um, you don't need the actual, like, you don't need these quotation marks or anything like that. And then similarly, you just go here and you do Twilio auth token. And then you just do a to do in there as well. So that way you can run it from here. You can also use the debugger the same way that you normally would be using. Um, just make sure it's always loaded whenever you click into this env thing, and that should enable you to run using the green button as well. 